Kobe Bosso. Curling it in, headed away by Raju backward and a prompt shot and it's into the net. It's one all. This was to be the danger time. Cameroon were going to come, hammer and tongs. And India couldn't withstand the pressure. And what a volley. Subroto Pal dived this fraction too late as we will see. Headed away by Raju Gekwad. And there comes a bullet-like shot. Very awkward bounce. On the volley, take falls just before Subroto Pal. He anticipates a bit late. So it's even Stevens. It's one all. And we have a fight on our hands. Yes, that's it. Theory Macon. Three fouls by each. Here comes the reverse ball. This could be goal number three. But the very courageous Mohamed Imran charges into his opponent and collects the ball. Daniel Boso. As Theory Macon was stopped on the ground. But this was a real dangerous move. Joseph Momaso to Theory Macon's lovely dribbling skills. Beats one, beats two. And as he's shooting goalwards. Imran Nello's the angle, delightful dribbling skill, real classy play, swaying of the hips. He's shooting goalwards, but Imran is... Have a look at it again, Joseph Bomaso thundering down the left, the return pass, delightful dribbling skills, the drag back, then the body swerve, and then the shot straight to the goalkeeper. Taken by Thierry Macon, who scored the equaliser. With his left foot, he can curl in an in-swinger. Which he does to the far post. This is danger at oh, Cotton Spot. Garua has silenced the crowd. What a powerful header. It went like the speed of a rifle bullet. He's got power. He's got timing. There he goes. And even though there's a man standing on the line, it flies past him. So the favourites are 2-1 ahead. Cameroon leads because you have to now get into an attacking formation. The Cameroon supporters just club. Gives India a chance now. Here come Cameroon and they let fly. And a excellent save by Karanjitu narrows the angle. Because this was a blistering shot by Thierry Macon who had just come on. A dream come true for him as Cameroon let fly. They get yet another corner kicks. Who will not play? Is that going to be his first touch? Robert Latola, Cameroon, keeping possession, referee gives the free kick, Cameroon's way, in the last, in fact, brings down Thierry Macon, it's Alvin George, Clifford Miranda, Mopondo, who'd worked a lot for his team in midfield, probably tiring. So you Thierry Macon. The Mapondo. Kingui Mapondo. Moving into attack. Thierry Macon. Very fine playmaker. Thierry Macon. He's tripped over him. He's to orchestrate everything. He was the leader of the band. And now they are missing. Thierry Macon. But here come Cameroon again. And Thierry Macon lets fly. It's yet another corner kick. Intercepted well. But magical control. And now on the run. This can be dangerous. This could be goal number two. No, a good save. A good save. One of the Maldives players injured. Thierry Macon had burst through. Yes, pushed it. There he goes, Thierry Macon. Pushed it past goalkeeper Mohamed Imran. But last ditch tackle by the defender. Where Paul Bebui Kingwe had an outstanding match of Akram Abdul Ghani. Now, past the half hour mark, it's one all. Maldives getting yet another corner kick. This Ashu Tanbe plays it square. And the final shot is missing from Abanga. Was he brought down? That was Thierry Macon who burst in. There's some lovely skills. Dribbling. And he seems to fall over or is it a tackle? First half. And what a bullet-like headset piece. If you look at it now, they've gone to sleep. They have been deceived somewhat by the burly Vigny Mereme 
everybody concentrated on him didn't see mapondo coming in like a bulldozer at the end. cameroon can be very dangerous as the corner comes in and just headed away narrowly very dangerous corner kick floating inwards as he's under attack mohammed imran has nothing but to head it away it's very important these early stages a slip and a chance lovely save by imran Thierry Macon and to the final on seven points and Cameroon are all Pondo Thierry Macon Pondo Pondo Thierry Macon the whole 10 to 12 13 14 15 passes they play amongst themselves and then Silvan buys Cameroon have now scored 10 goals in three matches. You can see they're a team which is dominating. Ashu Clevis Tembe. Thierry Macon and Joe Patrick Abuna plays it square. Gets the rebound and here. Yeah. Hashmi Hamad, FIFA panel in 2011. And this would be the last attempt. Will they score goal number two? Yes, they should. No! What a miss! What a miss! He's smiling, but that's because his team is leading. But a number 13 has missed Thierry Macon. Oh, Patrick Abuna. Now Cameroon to Thierry Macon. They can't get much power in the cross. Not cleared properly. This could be a chance for Cameroon. Whipped across the face of the goal. And that's... It's... There we see. Mistake in clearance by Rohit Chand. Easily beaten. Cross comes in from Thierry Macon. Goalkeeper doesn't clutch it properly, so a series of blunders by the Nepalese defence. First, Rohit Chan miss kicks, easily dribbled, crossed by Thierry Mac. Plays it back safe. Here come Nepal. Desperately trying to stop Kemp. They've seen nice build up. Joseph Mamaso has stopped. The goal clearance so weak, and Cameroon snatch onto the ball. This is Clevis Tambe. Nice reverse ball. This should be 2 0, and yes, it is. Alex Burton on Dobo Ebanga. This is Clevis Ashu Tembe, rolls it across the face of the goal and a nice first time shot by Alex Burton on Dobo Ebanga. And that's it, 2 0. But it's Cameroon once again picking up play, Cameroon accelerating, looking for yet another goal. Daola, Goala. So we moved into added time and at, well, let's see at present. And Cameroon giving a masterclass performance. Lovely dribbling skills. Top scorer in the Cameroon League. Yes, now here's the move. You can see how Nepal is outnumbered in defence. Slow, static, disinterested. It's a pity. Nepal always noted for very spirited football. Teams from the Royal Nepal Airlines earlier on. Skipper. Paul Steven. Lovely play over here by Thierry Macon. Attacking midfielder. You see the cross coming in. Raju Gekwad will go up for the header. Thierry Macon traps. Just as Mehtab Hussain was trying to shoulder him, he volleys into the... Here come Cameroon again. This could be trouble and it's a lucky miss for India. It's a really lucky miss. This should have been curtains for India. The Indian defence now caught napping. A bouncing ball. How he missed it, it's more difficult to miss from this angle than score.
he really got over excited a bouncing ball this was a gift india giving an early diwali gift to cameroon the mark viduka or christian vieri of indian football his fourth international cap what can he do now but here cameroon come again and a delightful tackle very timely tackle otherwise theory macon was on his way raju gekwa to the rescue he's injured himself full stretch but what a timely tackle by raju for cameroon while the celebrations were going on for very well held by subroto pal see it again that's the nehru cup the trophy for which these two teams are contesting will it go to the raju gekwa made a very timely that was by theory macon Terry Macard box from the 25 yards. They definitely got rattled by the tenacious. Those are the trophies that will be distributed. The Nehru Cup, the Sport Garura, corner kick, curled it in. Again he come. Chance here for Cameroon. Can they get a shot in goal? Taking it on his favorite left foot, but placed over. Placed over by Thierry Macon on his favourite left foot, just over the bar. Corner kick on the far side. See this, Thierry Macon, very clever play, powerful thing, looking for a deflection. The ball curled in, miss kick. A chance for Cameroon again. Nehru Cup. It was on penalties. India beating Syria. Sunil Chetri will 